Hi, welcome on our exhibition ground. My name is Elmar, and um, I heard you want me to tell you some more about uh, the, yeah, shading control, a good shading control, and I want to make you acquainted with it, so with pleasure. So let's go and get started. So the weather station itself, so our meteor data, you see here in real life, so um, a really a nice and a transparent material. What you discover, if I put it in front of my T-shirt, so you discover the color is in a certain instant mirrored through this transparent material. We did it with a certain, let's say, idea behind. So then this weather station is not that dominant uh, if you install such kind of weather station in front of a brigade, because the weather station is mirroring the color and the shape and the material of the facade in a certain instant and so due to that the weather station is not that dominant. In regards of the installation, we took care about the installer, you know. It is uh, sometimes challenging if you have such a building like here in the background, so uh, a big industry uh, yeah, factory, 10, 12, 15 meters or above to install such kind of things. So um, if you have really hands-free uh, on the stairs, it's really comfortable. And so we separated the socket for the wiring from the weather station, which finally measures and sends the values to the bus, to the system. We have here two installation compartments. One of these installation compartments is 24 volt DC. This is uh, for the heating of uh, the rain panel here, the blue one here, yeah. So especially yeah, required when, um, when you install such kind of weather station in let's say colder areas, yeah, when you have strong winters and so on. And uh, so with these heating, so you clean the rain panel finally to have a reasonable good function of the safety function finally. So, and the other compartment is this compartment here with the bus terminals. And uh, this is just to power, finally, the weather station and as well to communicate to the bus. When installed, when fixed, and the wiring is done, finally, you have just to slip the weather station above the socket, lock it with an audible click, and then fix it with the tool here uh, below the weather sensor. There is a screw and fix it and done. So in regards of the different sensors which we are offering in the weather station, we have here three brightness sensors for the three different cardinals to separate, for instance, the shading easterly side, southerly side, westerly side, for instance. <coughs> we have here the wind detection. Wind detection, finally, we keep on to use the wind wheel because in our uh, perspective, the wind wheel is more accurate, like the electronic components, which we currently can get from the market. And uh, we have as well here, you discover here, here is a temperature sensor, temperature probe, which gives you, let's say, the weather, yeah, the outdoor temperature finally of uh, yeah, your building and uh, the temperature around your building finally, if you are eager to know what's going on around. All these values, weather, brightness, temperature, and wind speed you can give on the bus and you can monitor, you can display it on a nice display like our Eon, our Varia for instance, or visualization, however. This weather station <coughs> is a part of our wide, yeah, quite huge product range which we have meanwhile. And uh, with this you can really do some more than just uh, automized shading control. Why? Because there are more and more demands upcoming from, let's say, um, yeah, national, um, um, yeah, national um, yeah, references that you need to have a sophisticated shading control. And one of the so most sophisticated shading controls is finally sun tracking. So positioning of the slats of a shaded room according to the position of the sun. This is most sophisticated and most efficient in regards of the energy efficiency. <clears throat> and when you watch carefully, for instance, here on this, uh, let's say, energy label, yeah, you know, as higher the degree finally is, 
um, as better the building finally is. And uh, nevertheless, if we talk about LEED or GBI, <coughs> Green Building Index, BREAM, EN 15232, Minagi from Switzerland or UK Gov or whatnot, so they describe definitively, so what kind of technique, sophisticated buildings which want to achieve a certain degree of the energy label, for instance, lead platinum, for instance, or gold, however, GBI, same stuff. So then you need specific technology in order to achieve the highest degree of energy efficiency and if you intend to get this award finally for this most sophisticated building. And one of these parts we discuss or we introduce you is finally here, this sun protection, this automatical sun protection in regards of, let's say, the sun positioning during the season. How you have to understand, how you have to imagine, how does it uh, work finally. You know, during the season, so the position of the sun changes, yeah, and uh, during the season finally, so that means the, the diesel, the, the glaring, of the natural daylight inside for the working people on their table, on their, on their working areas, for instance, is highly affected by the positioning of the sun. And due to that, you need the shading, yeah, that you can do a proper work, that you are not disturbed, finally, by this bright, shining light. And um, we need as well to know, so how is your building position? So from which side uh, of the building, for instance, the sun is early morning rising, yeah, and in the afternoon, for instance, setting. And if you know such, so then we can do a really a sophisticated uh, shading control, so that means we position the slats accordingly. Yeah? And that's an automatism which runs automatically. Yeah? We just need to know some, let's say, things. So where is my building positioned, for instance? You see here the scratch of a building, when the sun is rising, early morning, so uh, then, for instance, we have here the shading on this on this kind of on this side of the building, for instance. So the blinds run down and position on their own on a specific, let's say, degree. So where, in which month, and so at which time, for instance, the position of the sun finally is. Maximum protection against diesel but the maximum daylight gains which you have inside of the room. So that means <coughs> inside when you do the shading. So inside mostly you need artificial light during that time. And you know, it doesn't make so much sense to close the blinds totally. And the inside, for instance, a sensor, a prison sensor discovers then finally, okay, it's dark. So now I have to give you 100% artificial light. This is not really energy efficient. Frank speaking. So if you have inside uh, intelligent light control, so a daylight related constant light control, for instance, so then depending on the slats, on the position of the slats, so the maximum of the natural daylight is in the room, yeah, and so you can start to reduce the intensity of the artificial light, so that means you can start the dimming and you save energy and you have a maximum of energy saving finally in the building with a maximum, uh, let's say, yeah, amount of energy uh, uh, appliance efficiency finally in terms of you do not have that impact as well neither from the infrared uh, light which heats up the room finally. So the, the principle is finally like here. So uh, you enter a room, the, the sun is positioned like here for instance and when the sun is positioned a few bit higher so then the slats open and if the sun uh, is rising again so then the slats, slats opens again so that means and the inside the light inside here so it starts to dimming down so dimming down means you do not need so much energy of artificial light further on so it's a maximum of energy gains and the highest degree of energy efficiency. What are the preconditions? Finally, if you intend to go for such, uh, you need finally to know so where the weather station is positioned. Where is east, west, and uh, south, for instance. So we need to know that. So we need to know, for instance, which degree we finally have. How many facades we intend to uh, 
uh, equipped with the, with the automatic shading control. And what we need as well, we need as well the current date, we need as well to know the current time, yeah, because we need to know where is the sun positioned in February, in March, especially in, yeah, for instance, in Madrid or up in Berlin or probably in Stockholm, however. So there is a certain difference and these we need to know where we are located, what is the current time, what is the current date. And uh, what we need as well, we need to know, for instance, the run times as well from the blind, so from the upper position to the lower position. And we need as well, so how much is the time for the sled's turn as well, to have later on a really accurate working um, blind control with the positioning of the sleds. Always recommended, sure, to implement uh, safety aspects. So that means if the wind is uh, popping up and uh, we have, for instance, uh, yeah, uh, multiple uh, store, multiple floor building, for instance, so that the blinds are moving up to, be, uh, to avoid to be destroyed finally by a strong wind or so. Yeah. So don't forget this has to be done and I want to remember this. Yeah. And um, what we need as well, we need a powerful actuator. Could be, for instance, a flush mounted actuator like here, yeah, or the RF remote secure actuator on the left hand side in this case, or you have here these Dean rail installed um, actuators, blind actuators, which are single actuator, mixable actuators, or the actuator here, for instance, for bigger projects. <coughs> and if required, 24 volt DC, so for specific blinds, which are yeah, operating by 24 volt. So same stuff, you need a powerful actuator in general. And you need as well, you need the weather station. You need the weather station, which is good enough and powerful enough to calculate on their own. So when, at what time, at which date, the sleds have to be positioned on which point. In regards of the, yeah, of the settings itself, of the actuators, so we have to distinguish two kind of operations, you know. There are motors which are operating on more mechanical aspects, yeah, where you have to adjust the upper position and the lower position by a screwdriver, so it's a motor runtime. And you have an electronic drive, which is good enough finally, for instance, if the blinds are running down or the rollers are running down, and there is some, for instance, hinderly, some in the window, in the open window, for instance, an animal, cat or such. So if there is some friction, so then this motor stops immediately. How? Due to current measuring. So in this setting has to be done in the application setting in general, has to be done. This is not really rather complicated. It's, uh, you have just to consider that. But uh, the interesting story is finally, so here in the background, you see here, especially this, let's say, nice um, yeah, building. And there are plenty of blinds equipped. So, and to do the adjustment of these run times of the blinds and all our actuators, they have uh, an option, which is teach in, yeah. And teach in means you have one master channel. This you take finally to adjust and all the other channels can be set on receiving the values, the runtime values, and just with one uh, teach in operation, you can teach in all the windows if they are preconditioned, if they have the same sizes of the window finally. Not sizes in the width, but sizes in the height or in the length, however. So this is just a deal, this deal is uh, rather fast uh, done and we are prepared for that because all our actuators, nevertheless, if we talk about the flush mounted actuators or the DIN rail actuators, all of them are supporting us with this, let's say, simple but really sophisticated application to teach these in finally. As well, but this is not mandatory, it's not a matter of the function of the weather station, but it's, let's say, a side effect which is rather, rather energy efficient uh, in regards of our actuators, of our shutters and blinds actuators. So our actuators are supporting heating and cooling support, which you discover here in this application setting. And this here finally gives the options so it depends on how the current situation is inside of the room in regards of the temperature. So the blinds positions automatically. So supporting us with protection of the sun or supporting us rising the blinds to get 
the energy of the natural daylight from the infrared light of the sun in order to support us to heat up the room finally. Yeah. So wind speed and all that stuff, mandatory, okay, sure. But what I want to highlight is finally, we have different options of these weather stations. You discover here the one meteor data 140S or the GPS version. So 140S, so you have manually to apply to set finally date and the time, for instance, and the location uh, with a GPS version. So GPS, you know, you get global positioning uh, data. So that means the current time, the current date and all that stuff is automatically received through the GPS uh, chip, which is on board and sent automatically as a value on the uh, application and on the bus finally you can monitor it and you can make it to your advantage finally to start and uh, to yeah to start this automatism finally for the shading control yeah could be really so rather easy finally to do that um what to start yeah to start this automatism there are two options finally either with a bit object, you start manually or by a time frame, however, yeah, or by dusk and dawn operations. So you adjust, for instance, when a specific brightness is exceeded, so then automatically the shading control, for instance, starts up to you, depends on how your clients want to have. When uh, it comes to some, let's say, further applications, yeah, which major data have, be sure, so I want to make you acquainted so why we do have, why we offer here eight sun protection channels. Just, you discover here these, uh, these appearance of this building here. And uh, if you count carefully, so you discover, okay, these are exactly eight facades. And exactly for buildings like that, they require eight different sun protection channels. And uh, due to that, we need to adjust them especially. These universal channels, which we are offering plus, it is just an additional application, which is inbuilt in the application of uh, the meteor data. So you can decide, for instance, when a specific rain is, let's say, uh, exceeded or when a specific wind is exceeded, send the bit command, send the byte command. However, you can do whatever you like with it. Yeah, you can take it to start this function or you can take this just and send it on the bus and kick on some, let's say, additional function. Safety channels means exactly you can make this as well. So when the wind speed is in a specific height, you have a 10 floor building and each floor is separated in regards of the wind speed. So then the blinds can, let's say, go or move to their upper position accordingly to the specific preset wind speed values. Threshold as well, so depends on specific uh, brightness. You can achieve that, for instance, the outdoor brightness you measure is, uh, for instance, uh, 100 lux or so or below. So then you can use exactly that channel as well to illuminate your garage, uh, your the pathway to the garage, for instance, or your garden or so. You have so many functions which you can directly apply to the weather station itself. Even there are logic links inside of the weather station, which you can use, for instance, for your purposes. Important, finally, so that you do the right positioning. So we have, for instance, here a four-channel blinds actuator, and uh, each facade controls a specific, let's say, facade, si side of the facade, finally, and starts this accordingly. You have to adjust, finally, so where the building is positioned and where the main uh, uh, building the main facade finally is facing to this has to be adjusted and that's it finally yeah and then the system knows exactly what to do and uh, the configuration you see here I prepared some you see here the configuration this is exactly what has to, has to be linked together in order to have finally the reasonable result the reasonable success and this highly sophisticated solution you discover hey, it's not that much to do. It's easily to be done. And one recommendation from my side, um, in our manuals, in our handbooks, on the last pages, you will find some really reasonable goods, tricks and tips, and even, even some, let's say, program 
uh, exercises which tells you exactly how to do, how to do the setup. And it's not really compli complicated. And uh, by the way, we did some XX large webinars the last couple of months. So always a pleasure if uh, you visit our webpage on the page on the services, service support, and then you will discover here and there some uh, videos which tells you in details so what to do on which point of the application you have to put the hook or what has you know, has to be linked together. You see, it sounds really simple and it is really simple and the effects so just as an example you discover here, we have here different dates during the year and we have here specific positioning of the lamellas and depends on the time the lamellas automatically open their position and give you as much as possible light into the building. And when you compare here, for instance, you see here March. If you compare this here with June, July, you see here the degree of the slats position is totally different. So that means it's optimized because in July, the sun position is different in comparison to March itself. So hopefully it was interesting for you. Yeah. And I could keep you yeah, well attended. Yeah. Great. So um, I want to make you acquainted with our abilities in technical support. Uh, we have here in all these subsidiaries, which are listed here, we have here specialists, skilled people, giving you the reasonable support. And in all the other countries, in total 64, we have partners uh, which are really good, well-skilled, well-informed, finally. And if you have reasonable answer, uh, reasonable questions, finally, in regards of shading control, or especially to table products in general, so don't hesitate and come back to us. It was a pleasure having you here. See you next time.